Welcome to the channel. I've talked about this distribution in the past and was genuinely impressed, naturally surprised by the originality and the attention to detail in the project. I even went ahead and installed it on my computer, and I wondered how such a polished system could be so successful in China, yet barely known in the West. Now, I don't like these mental biases. I don't judge projects based on nationality, but it was clear that many, very many users were and still are suspicious of Deepin. A Chinese project developed in China probably with government funding, and let's be honest, that government isn't exactly a model of democracy or transparency. Well, maybe that widespread suspicion wasn't entirely unfounded. In fact, after seeing what's come to light, I now find myself joining those who raise an eyebrow when Deepin is mentioned. Let's get to the point. Deepin packages have been removed from OpenSUSE repositories due to security concerns. In a long and detailed post on OpenSUSE's website, Matthias Gerstner explains the whole situation thoroughly and some very shady issues emerge. We're talking about serious anomalies in Deepin packages, abuse of Dbus and Polkit, along with very poor architectural decisions from a technical standpoint. Even worse, the Deepin developers were largely unresponsive to the OpenSUSE team's repeated requests to address these problems. And this raises the question, what if these structural flaws and vulnerabilities are actually intentional? That suspicion is growing, and as a precaution, it might be best to stay away from Deepin for now, at least until the situation is properly clarified. The issues range from security holes in the DDE API proxy module to the aforementioned problems with Dbus services and the clone Deepin tool, including hard-coded paths and suspicious system calls. In short, Deepin appears to contain backdoors, or at least open doors, that could potentially be exploited to monitor our activities in an illegitimate way. Thanks for being here, and see you in the next video.